take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is Glenn and I'm here at the Twin Falls Temple just at sunrise. I camped out here last night, came into Twin Falls, went through the temple yesterday afternoon and it is a beautiful structure. Uh, most interesting, beautiful paintings of the local landscape and architecture. It's an amazing place. And I plan to go through another session here in just a little bit. And with the temple in the background, I wanted to tell you a story. Please forgive the Senator Fetter Fetterman look, but it's early in the morning. I haven't had a workout yet, and I'm out here because I just was captivated by these colors. This story comes out of the Glenn Ross and Stories Collection 2019-2020. I wanted to share this story with you. Um, years ago, I went on an Arctic Circle cruise with Fun for Less Tours. Actually, I'm doing it again in 2024. And um, as part of that cruise, we traveled up the coast of Norway. And um, going into all of the fjords all the way up the coast of Norway. And then we came to the northernmost point of the tour, and that was North Cape. North Cape is up in the Arctic Ocean beyond the Arctic Circle. It's up into the Arctic Circle. And North Cape is this, is this, well, it's styled as the northernmost point of Europe. It's the northern tip of Norway. And it's this visitor center that juts out into the Arctic Sea that's 900 feet above sea level. And the cruise ships come in there. Make sure this car doesn't want to come where I'm at. The cruise ships come in there and unload all of their passengers and we get on buses and we drive up to North Cape. Well, we did just like everybody else. We were part of the herd. We got in there and everybody got off the bus and ran up and took pictures of the view off into the Arctic Sea. Ar Arctic sea. And before long, we all wandered in to the visitor center. Now, in the summertime, it's really popular, a lot of visitors, but can you imagine how cold and windswept that point would be in the middle of the winter. Well, we went into the visitor center and all of my people went off and started looking around and, 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 and I kind of just toddled off and did my own thing. And then I noticed that the whole crowd was headed towards the basement. Well, I wonder what's down there. So I fell in with the herd and was going downstairs. Um, as we were, as I remember, it was just like this long tunnel going down to the basement with rock walls. Really cool. And then I heard, I remember somebody saying something about that there was a Christian chapel here. And as we passed along, all of a sudden I saw a niche in the uh, rock walls. And I thought, maybe that's it. So I turned in. And sure enough, it was the Christian chapel. It was maybe only 10 or 12 feet wide, maybe 8 or 10 feet deep three or four benches, and the whole front wall was an altar and Christian icons. And I've always loved chapels. I mean, they just, wherever I am, no matter what denomination, I just want to visit them. So I sat down in the back corner, which is where you usually find me in church, back bench, back corner, and sat down. And I noticed that the crowds just kept coming through. They'd come in one door, and they'd pass through and go out the other. Good morning and they'd go out the other. They'd stop and take pictures. In one of those waves, a young woman, 30 something, came in and she did the same thing as me. She walked to the back corner of the chapel, opposite from me, and she sat down. And after a while, the crowds quit coming and the two of us just sat there feeling a quiet peace and a reverence of this place. After a while, I got up and went to find my people, and she got up too. Together, we walked out of the chapel, she right behind me, and as we walked out, I turned around and I said, are you a Christian? And with a soft and gentle voice, she said, yes, are you? And I said, I am. 
I walked out into the crowd, no longer feeling quite so alone. That experience deeply touched me. Wherever you find the Savior, you find love, you find friends, you find peace. As we approach a new year, my dear friends, it is my hope that with all that you find and all the adventures you have, you find a greater relationship with your Father in Heaven and the Lord Jesus Christ. Happy New Year and God bless you.